Hello, this is Dave Allen from the Amazing iPad Podcast and also from Mac 20 Questions. And today we're going to have a look at an application on the iPad called ThinkBook. It is a weird and wonderful application that is for outlining. It's possibly a little bit weird because of the interface which has a slider on the right hand side and then you use for moving your notes within your outline. It does take a little bit of getting used to but actually works quite well. So here's a slider, moving up and down. And we use it for moving things around within our think book. So for instance if I want to move something off the page there onto the slider I go to the right hand side and now that's thing on the slider I can move it down and move it back into a different place. So that's how that slider works which is pretty easy and you can use that slider tab thingy to make new notes, delete notes that you don't want anymore, move notes from one place to another and to reorder them. Now if you want to reorder your notes, what you do is you move them onto your slider in the order that you actually want them. And then you move them back onto the page in one go and they will magically in the correct order. So let's just do that now. So for instance, say we want to have this one here first of all. We want to have this one here second. And we want to go this one here third and fourth. And then let's just put it back in again. So we tap onto the slider, move it to the left, back onto the page again. Now within ThinkBook you can create notes, to-dos, projects. And you can do that from the slider as well. And you can also create pages and books. And strangely it is possible to have books within pages. So you'll have to try and work out for yourself your own metaphor for working within a ThinkBook. Maybe the developer will have to have a think about that one himself and see if he can organize it so it's just pages within books. But still, but in any case, basically what you have, pages and books are containers for putting in other objects. Those other objects are things such as notes, projects, questions and to-do items. So let's go into one of these pages or books that we have here and see what we've got. So let's go into the sticky video notes. And in here we've got some notes. The notes are the ones with the little dots at the beginning of them. And what I can do is I can tap and hold on that there. And I can turn that into a to-do item by turning that checkbox on. I can add note tags to it. So that if it's for the amazing iPad, then I click on that there. And that is, that is given a tag. And also what you're going to want to do at some point in time with doing outlining, do some indenting. So, so if I want to make that editing note indented to the note that's above it, I just strike to the right and there it goes. And I can do the same with notes underneath it as well. Also what I can do is I can move to the right and then start moving the finger down and it will add the ones that are underneath it as well. You can indent those that are already indented as well so you'll have a number of levels of indentation. And also what you can do is something that's been indented so this one here with the don't do a talking head video what I can do with that is go to the right side of the screen and move that. It moves a whole lot in one group as it were. And if I want to put that back in somewhere else there it goes slide it back in again. So let's have another look at what you can do with uh, the pop-up that you get. So tap and hold on this one here. I can email a note out. I can send text to Dropbox or get text from Dropbox. That basically is some sort of uh, backup type of thing. And you get some more transfer options. Tapping on that there and you can write the text to a file. Or you can read the text back from a file. So let's write that text to a file. So when you're sending information out of ThinkBook, really the only option that you get and get with this is the form of a text file. The developer is supposed to be also working on a export option of OPML, which is the standard format for outlining, which you'd think you should have already, but there you go. When you consider that ThinkBook is only $1.99 compared to the $20 that you'd have to spend out to buy Omni Outliner, it's definitely well worth a try. So that's all for now for this episode of amazing iPad and things that you can do with ThinkBook and in the next video we'll have a look at some of the other things that you can do with this. That's going to be things such as looking at the extra search facilities. The thing to think about with using ThinkBook is why would you want to use it? Well if you think in a linear fashion when you can just throw notes into a ordinary text editor and that'll do the job for you and if you don't want to go to the other end of the scale which is to use a mind mapping application such as iThoughts HD or MindNode Pro then ThinkBook could be just what you're looking for. So there you go this is Dave Allen for Amazing iPad. So now what you need to do is go and visit the Amazing iPad website and before you go don't forget to subscribe to the Wizard Gold channel here on YouTube and click on the like button. Bye bye now.